open for about 28 inches deep here. 28 to 30. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't know if you can tell. I torch them till I can see the cracks in them. I'll try and zoom in. So once I start seeing cracks on the surface, I know I've gotten deep enough. I assume. Um, I don't know for sure, I guess. But uh, anytime you see anything burnt in the forest, man, that stuff's been around for years. So I've almost got all I need for the first row. I'm going to have to 
do one more it looks like this where this one is right here I need to cut one for that hole um, I've been able to use two pieces per post so far uh, I don't think I'll get away with that on the lower part because it's actually going to be longer beams so we'll see uh, yeah one more beam cut should get these two holes covered so I think I'm gonna use this one that's in the hole here stay as close to as much I don't want to be on the edge is the whole idea with these things I definitely want to be as central as possible Okay, got another day. Today I'm going to take this back row, just these three right now. Uh, the end one I'll wait till later because I need to pull the pole and get it out of the way to cut. So I made some spacers that you can see on here. And the goal with that is to, I ran these two by fours that I made. I milled them with a chainsaw mill. So they're not perfect, but they're pretty close. I leveled them out. These will guide me along these two by fours. I made sure that I had enough spacing to keep it consistent, even with the smaller uh, posts. So I went with the biggest one, created my gap, which is 14 and three quarters to the nut so that it can ride on this on the surface of that the whole time and that should keep me at a good steady cut all the way so. that 
we're probably about a quarter inch here above this which is fine they'll all be the same way when I go to cut them off and in addition to that uh, we should have and we do As far as for the torching goes from here on just the tops tomorrow I'm going to come back and all the tops I'm going to put that copper stuff on just so if any water settles on it that'll protect it from rotting um, and then I guess tomorrow also we'll start putting the decks together on both sides Sawyer side over here. And the other side there, that's going to be where I'm going to load my logs. And I got enough room to get past the tree there. So I can't actually hook this one up yet, but I do I do want it there so that when I put it in I can slide it into position over this. I'm just dropping a couple in these right now to make things still shiftable. So I have a feeling that's going to have to be done.
remove that one. Blindly trying to get this thing into play. Ah, there's a little little movement here. I wonder.
here. Really nice. And then from that, I probably got a 10 foot board that I can use because this thing's probably about 18 feet long. So I'll flip her on over. Along the sides here, you'll see parts of it go. Not that that matters, but if you look right here, right there, all along here, that's an outer bark right there. I literally could take that all the way off because I'll look at the other side here in a second and see what it looks like. Got some of it too. So what I would probably do is take half of this side off not that it matters. That's a, that's a big bean. That's a beautiful bean. It's a great shape. Nice and straight. Oh, I love it.